lived in Franklinton, also known as the Bottoms, my entire life. A question I am commonly asked is, does the good really outweigh the bad? My answer, yes. There is an abundance of good things about Franklinton. The Leader Spark program is one of them. Leader Spark is a nonprofit organization that provides training for conducting meetings, working in a group setting, dealing with conflict, presenting oneself in a professional manner, and many more important topics. I now understand that even at such a young age, I can impact my neighborhood in a positive way. While participating in Leader Spark, I, along with other students in my neighborhood, created the Speak Up Anti-Bullying Initiative. Our group has since presented to over 1,200 students. The Broad Street Clean Sweep is another program created by Leader Spark. This is an annual environmental improvement program that allows us to work together picking up litter along Broad Street. We clean the entire area, stretching from Rhodes Park all the way to the Scioto Mile. There is a brick wall on the corner of Glenwood in town. The artists who painted it are now dead and gone. A few years ago, a semi-truck crashed into the wall and knocked it down. Because of the Leader Spark program, the wall was rebuilt, and I am excited to know that this landmark in my neighborhood is still noticed. I saw my elementary school, Avondale Elementary, refurbished as well as an addition added to the building. It was over 100 years old, and the renovation was needed. The single most amazing thing about my neighborhood is the sense of friendship that we have. Because I have lived on my street for almost my entire life, my neighbors have watched me grow up. I know if I ever get into any trouble, anyone on my street would be willing to help. I have had the opportunity to work with a handful of adolescents in my community. When I walk into the library or into schools in my neighborhood, students frequently shout my name or walk up to me and say, hey, you came to my school and talked about anti-bullying. I have kids asking me to help them with their homework, read, or play with them. It makes me feel great to know that they know me by name and go out of their way to acknowledge me. Knowing something that took place so long ago still affects their everyday life is simply amazing. Although there are so many amazing and positive things about Franklinton, just like any big city, it does have its tough areas. I wish the city of Columbus would do something to help us change those elements in our community. At the end of the day, it's still the place I call home. Although there are negative attributes, if we work together, we can make Franklinton a better, safer place.